So, welcome back, everybody. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is a uh, a quick field strip of the Keltec Sub 2000 Gen 2. Now, this isn't a you know go and shoot it every single day, you know hold up forever kind of gun. This is a nice, well built firearm, but it's not meant to be a primary. So, um, what I've got here, uh, I've done a few little upgrades to it. <laughs> um, so to open your sub 2000, what you're going to want to do is right here above the stock, you've got a little catch release. You pull that catch release back and it opens right up. Now I put a little foregrip on mine, a little uh, adjustable foregrip. You can put it at uh, at your full 90 degree angle or you can put it right there, which is where I prefer it myself. Um, I also got the uh, the extended magazine for it. Uh, with the kel uh with the Sub-2000, you can get it to come with... Uh, where it'll accept block magazines, where it'll accept uh, SIG magazines, um, I think high point magazines. I might be wrong about the high point though. I know for a fact that it, it, that uh, they do make them to some to accept uh, Glock magazines and some to some to accept SIG magazines. So I've got a few SIGs, nine millimeter SIGs already. So uh, I went ahead and got the one that accepts the SIG magazines. That way I could use some of my extended mags from my SIG uh, on my kel -Tec. So, um, now, it is, uh, it's a really easy um, release for your magazine right here. A lot of, uh, a lot of your compact firearms like this your magazine release is going to be so small that it can be kind of hard to uh to thumb it in sometimes but with this one you do got that magazine release that sticks out pretty far there like a quarter inch or more so you hit that comes right out um charger handle is the only complaint that i would really have about this firearm the charger handle is a little bit difficult um when you're holding here uh, you have to take, you know, your hand off of your pistol grip to pull your charger handle back. And as y'all can see, it's clear. You can uh, twist it to the right back here to lock your uh, lock your bolt open. So it is, it is clear. Just wanted to show y'all that after we had uh, dropped the full magazine in it and took that back out. So. Um, as far as the breakdown goes, we're going to take, ride the bolt forward. Um, you don't have to, uh, you know, lock your stuff into place. I just feel more secure personally locking everything into place whenever I'm doing this. Now, one of the things that I love about this is you don't need a ton of tools to break this gun down. Um, basically all you need is, uh, a screwdriver or um, a lot of times you ain't even got that and you can just use a pencil so what you're gonna do is right here in the back you can push that in so you're gonna push that in and that's gonna take the tension off of this pin right here you take and you just push that pin through that pin it's gonna come all the way out like that okay it's a pretty big pin <laughs> um, at that point you can take and you can remove your stock uh, now you take pull your charger handle to the rear remove your spring Move the charger handle. Move your bolt and your bolt carrier. They come apart. 
Um, this gun is, I'm not going to clean it because uh, I just cleaned this gun like last week. Only fired it once since the last time I cleaned it. And that's your, that's your field strip because from there, uh, you can just open it up like this and you can get in there to clean your barrel, uh, anything else. So as far as the field strip, that's, you know, literally it takes no tools other than, you know, a screwdriver or a pencil to push that pin through. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show y'all. Like normally, you look over here, I've got like a ton of tools sitting here for my firearm breakdowns. But as you can see, we didn't need a single one of them to, uh, to field strip this gun. Now to put it back together, the reassembly, that just slides in right there. Now, to make sure that you get uh, the right side facing down here to uh, to accept your charging handle. If you look, um, one side has more of an oval shaped opening and the other side has more of a circular opening. So you wanna make that oval shaped opening, uh, you wanna face that down. Slide everything into place. And uh, your charger handle is just going to drop right in there. So now we'll take and put our spring in. Ride everything forward. <clears throat> uh, reassemble this little piece right here. Like that. Slide it into, onto your, uh, slide it onto your stock. And uh, this is where you can adjust slightly <coughs> the length of your uh, of how far your stock goes back. Personally, uh, I use this gun for being small, compact, so I keep it on its shortest setting right here. A lot of the times, I don't even put that stock all the way back to my shoulder. Um, I've gotten pretty good at hip fire in this thing. So, but you can extend it out to where you get a couple more inches uh, length on your stock there. So, go ahead and uh, slide this into place. Place. Might not have the spring in there correctly. Yep, that's our problem. Don't have the spring in correctly. You gotta make sure you have that in there all the way or it's not gonna work too well. So, slide your stock on and uh, your spring, you just want it to where it's gonna sit down right into that little hole. Um, now, I have actually uh, seen, I don't know why it's being a pain right now, um, so I have seen videos where, uh, okay, there we go, I've seen videos where um, people take and put a little rubber grommet right here, um, just to help with the recoil because being so compact this thing does have a little bit of recoil to it so I've seen videos for people who put a little rubber grommet right there and that'll help with your uh, help with your recoil and I'm actually gonna do that here in a video coming up soon I just got to go buy me a little selection box of grommets because the ones that I got are pretty old um, so now everything's back into place lined up it's kind of hard to do this out in front of me like this and I'm used to doing it right here in my lap but I'm trying to hold it where y'all can see it all right so all 
All right, y'all. This is going to be a pain for me. I'm actually going to have to get over the table here to do this to where y'all can see it. Uh, you line these up, this rear hole, the one that I use up with your hole on your stock. And you're going to want to slide forward like that there. It's not far enough to drop that pin in. Um, this happens sometimes when you hit a little hiccup. Uh, let's see what we're doing. It's not. For some reason, that spring's not setting properly. There we go. Not set there properly. Okay. Now it's <laughs> now it's not set properly again. There we go. All right. Spring in. Drop your pin in, and you're in there. Good to go. <sighs> and. As much as I work with firearms on a daily basis, you can see sometimes they just don't want to uh, cooperate with you. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cycle a few rounds just to, uh, that's what I always do, just to make sure that I reassembled everything properly. You just want to take, put a magazine in there. Cycle a few rounds, drop your magazine, cycle that last round out, and uh, and we're good to go. Now, um, I know I did say, you know, that I'm not a fan of the charge and handle placement on this gun. That being said, it's still one of my favorite guns. Um, simply... Just the way that it breaks down. <clears throat> and uh, a lot of people say that they don't like how you can't mount a optic here without having to take it on and off every time you use it. Well, they have come out with a solution for that. It's a barrel shroud that I've actually got ordered right now. And the barrel shroud, as you close it, that barrel shroud rotates. So that when it's closed, your optic will be sticking off the side here. Um, and then when you open it back up, it rotates back to the top. It does all this automatically. You don't have to rotate it or anything like that. It does all that automatically. Um, I'll, uh, I'll look up the uh, company that makes that and put the link in the description. So uh, I hope y'all like this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see y'all again in uh, my next video. God bless y'all and y'all have a safe day.